these are Chinese turnip cakes. Okay. Now traditionally, uh, you use like uh, mushrooms um, and pork. Um, uh, type of sausages um, but I'm gonna try to make and show you how to make a healthier version without having to do that using more healthier type of ingredients so this is what traditionally it looks like okay okay today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, Chinese turnip patties uh, a healthier version of it uh, first of all you're gonna need the daikon, uh, white turnip, or um, loba. It can go by either of or all of those names. Okay. This is the daikon. Okay. So you're just gonna prepare it just like uh, just like you would with the carrot. Just uh, take off the skin with the peeler and then chop it up. Okay. And you're gonna need salt, green onions, cilantro, uh, pepper rice flour, uh, corn starch, uh, you could use any other type of starch but you need uh, s some starch to actually bind the turnip patty, okay? And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, basil leaves, okay? I'm also going to put in these uh, mushrooms. These are shiitake mushrooms that were uh, dried and basically they've been soaking in water overnight. And I'm going to put in uh, chicken. So I'm actually going to cook the chicken first. Um, I'm going to really season it uh, well. Um, traditionally, uh, Chinese turnip patties, they use a uh, type of sausage. Um, but I'm going to make a healthy version, so I'm going to use chicken, very well seasoned. Of course, when you're actually cooking the daikon, uh, you can also put in uh, lots of ginger as well, okay? Which actually brings out the flavor. Okay, now I have the chicken in the pan, uh, uh, very well seasoned with salt, pepper, and I uh, actually put a little bit of thyme as well, okay? Uh, I'm going to cook this very well, and we're going to actually then put it, uh, cook the daikon. Now you see the chicken is cooking. Um, I just used water, so it cooks a lot faster as well. Um, and then now I'm going to actually prepare the daikon. Here is my vegetable peeler, and I'm just going to peel this just like I would with the carrot. Um, and I'm going to cut off the tops and the ends of the bottom right there. Yep. And here is the seasoned chicken ready to be used. Okay, here is the daikon ready to be used. Here is the daikon in the pot and ready to be used. Now what you're going to do, you're going to put, um, you're going to fill the pot up with a, about a quarter of the way with water. And you can, you can add some ginger, you can add some um, salt, some, some pepper for seasoning and you're just going to let it boil until the, uh, the, the turnip here is very soft okay I'm, I'm adding my spices into the daikon uh, stew here um, basically what you're going to want to put is you can put ginger you add a little bit of salt pepper um, I might actually add some basil and some oregano okay while the daikon is being cooked I'm going to prepare the mushrooms okay so what you're going to do is once they've been soaked for a while, they become very soft, as you can see. And basically you're just going to chop them up. Now, the stem here is very hard. Uh, usually what you can do is you can cut off the stems. Okay? Here are the mushrooms all chopped up, ready to be used. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the rice flour and the cornstarch. Okay? Very simply, you're going to use about one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay? And you're going to use about, uh, for the size that I'm making right now, I'm going to use about half for the rice of the rice flour, okay? If you're going to make about uh, four portions or so, you might want to use the whole bag then, okay? And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all into this bowl. Okay, now here is the cornstarch and rice flour mixed together in the bowl. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of water just enough to make it uh, very thick. Uh, okay. okay, now here's the starch all ready and the flour all mixed together with water. Now the key part is to make sure there is no clumps, okay? That's the key part, okay? It's ready to be used.
Good. Now, since I'm going to be waiting for the uh, daikon to get ready, I'm going to prepare the cilantro and the onions, okay? You're actually going to use these as a garnish um, for it at the end. Okay. Actually it helps bring out the flavor. And remember the easiest way to chop up these onions and the cilantro is using a pair of scissors. Well I find them fastest. You can always use uh, a knife if you want. And here are the onions and cilantro all chopped up. Okay, now the daikon is almost ready. What you're going to do is you're going to pour all the, um, the chicken, the mushrooms right into this. And then you're going to actually uh, slowly pour the, uh, the flour mixture that we had into this as well. And then you're going to stir. I just added it in, right in there. Now I'm going to pour the mixture of the flour. Now you can see the, the flour is in there. You keep stirring until it gets really, really thick. And once it becomes like a paste-like substance, you're going to put it into a dish in which you're going to steam. Okay? Now here it is, ready to be steamed. Now it's, as you can see, it's in my steaming dish. Okay? All I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sprinkle some of the onions and a little bit of cilantro right on top. Just a little, and then you're going to put more on after when it's done. Okay. Now I'm going to put this into my steaming dish. Okay, so here is my steamer. It's in my steaming dish, and I'm going to actually just going to steam it for about 20 minutes. And that's set right there, okay? As you can see, it's already steaming. Okay, and here is the finished product. As you can see, um, now what you're going to do with it, you can just eat it just like this. Or what you can do is you can actually, um, you can keep it uh, in the fridge. Uh, you can eat it whenever you want. Um, if you like it a little crispier, what you can do is you can actually sort of fry it a bit. But other than that, you can actually just eat it just like this. And what I said, uh, some people actually like it with a little bit more cilantro and a little bit more uh, green onions and stuff at the end. It just brings out the flavor a bit. Okay? But it is finished.